Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised out the fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. 
Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things for the wise and the born, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things has been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son in anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor in a burden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, once more we are reminded of the love that God has for all of us and how all of us are called to put our faith in Him and to entrust ourselves to His care. Today readings are indeed apt and fitting, especially during these days when we are facing so many challenges and trials, hardships and troubles all around us. All of us have heard of the words of the Lord spoken to the prophet Zechariah, in which the Lord promised the coming of salvation 
when the king himself would come to Jerusalem and bring forth salvation and new life to all his beloved people. This is the prophecy of the coming of the Messiah, seated on a humble donkey, which was fulfilled when Christ entered into Jerusalem on the donkey just before his passion, suffering, and death. The Lord speaks of how this could no longer be chariots in Ephraim, neither horses in Jerusalem, because chariots and horses are the means of war, fight, and controversy between Ephraim, where the northern kingdom and Israel was centered in Jerusalem, the center of the southern kingdom of Judah. Both kingdoms have been divided since the time of King Solomon's death and tussled for the next few centuries. The Lord spoke of the coming of the good time when the people would no longer be divided, of the times when they would be restored and strengthened, when the veil of shame and humiliation would be lifted from them after each kingdom were subjected, conquered, and their population exiled and slavered by the Assyrian and the Babylonians. Then the Lord will bring them all out to their misery, just as He had once done with them as He delivered them from the Egyptians and the Pharaoh. This was the fulfilled, this was fulfilling Christ when He came into this world and revealed the, full, the fulfillment of God's long planned salvation of His people. Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Savior of all, has brought with Him the truth of God, how He was going to save all of us, and how there is only one path to salvation, that is through Him, by believing in Him and trusting in Him. Jesus calls all of us to come to Him, to seek Him and put our trust in His, and His yoke is easy, his burden is light, and we are to seek our rest in Him. But we are we willing to come to Him and seek Him? Or have we instead been distracted and moved to follow the wrong and false path encouraged by the evil one, although seeking to turn us away from God? He said, well, this is where we must indeed show good examples and strive our best to put our strong, living, and genuine faith in Him. When the Lord mentioned that His yoke is easy and His burden is light, He exactly mean, meant what He said, that there will still be yoke and burden for us to shoulder and endure. Some among us had kept the misunderstandings or wrong impression that when we follow the Lord, then we will have an easy and comfortable life. But this was not what the Lord meant. When the Lord wants us to realize is that by putting our trust in Him, we gain the assurance of the true glory and joy the guarantee of an eternity of rest, a new life, a new existence with Him, free from the shackles and chains of sin, and reconciled completely to Him. We must not instead think in worldly terms and matters, seeking glory and worldly satisfaction, fame and pleasure, and these are not what we are going to get from following God in being faithful to Him. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 
consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dearly beloved, trusting in the Lord's mercy and wisdom, we present to the Father our prayers and petitions. For the church, that God will help us take out the yoke of Christ and follow Him in speaking in truth and lovingly, offering forgiveness to those who wrong us and praying for our enemies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For a greater appreciation of the Sabbath, that God will show us how to disengage from our business so our minds and spirits can be refreshed through prayer relationship in nature. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling, that God will guide them safely to their destination and protect them from all harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who care for the sick, that God will give them strength and help them to be instruments of healing and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For freedom from fear, that God will help us surrender our fear and anxiety into the hands of the one who loves us and strengthen our confidence that God will provide for us in every circumstance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the parishioners of St. Peter and St. Saint, Saint Teresa and St. Peter parishes, for whom this Mass is offered, may we all be strengthened in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we ask you to hear these prayers in accordance with your will, which we present through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. You are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night and gaze upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners' freedom, to the sorrowful heart of to accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer to ourselves, for him to die and rise again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit for you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that, bringing to perfection his world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For in the hour that come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, O oh Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, a sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis our Pope, James our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ. We all the dead this day who belong to all of us, your children, and grant to us the cause that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Lord, that, having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mazda Sandin. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.